All right, boys, welcome back. Just want to show you guys real quick. I've got a couple questions on testing capacitors, and I just want to show you how I do it the easiest, simplest way. You know, if you have your digital multimeter, a lot of the HVAC meters now have a, you know, a specific setting on them to, to test capacitors, and, you know, and they're, they're all, it's the same way to test them all, you know, at least, at least from what I know anyway. So, um, if not, there are other ways to do it. Um, with an analog meter and stuff like with the with the dial on it like i used to have an old simpson meter you know with the gauge with the dial that goes up and down the needle um and you can test them like that with those too um so just get right into it and show you guys all right guys so i'm just going to show you real quick i got a couple capacitors here in my truck we keep for <clears throat> you know it's truck stock if we need stuff i got a you know a 10 microfarad one here and a five microfarad one so I was going to show you how to test them quick if you got them on your meter you got these little symbols here at least this is how the field piece one is you want to go to the one that's for um you know the microfarads the uf this one here so i'm going to do i'm going to use my alligator clips and all you do this is a 10 microfarad one we just hook one up to one side and one to the other we're reading 10.3 so that is telling me this capacitor is good I would hope so, since it's brand new out of the box, right? Um, we'll do the other one. This is a five microfarad. I get that on there. Four point nine. That is also good. You know, if they're up or down, they're bad. You know, if this was down at like four, I wouldn't want to use it. You want it to be to be pretty close. You know, say like four point seven to five point three or something like that. That's how I like them anyway. I don't like them to be any lower than that and it's the same way testing them on a um you know a used one i changed a couple motors out today i should have kept those capacitors but i threw them out but i'm um, you know if they're bad they won't read anything they may read really low or something like that or they may not read anything at all you know it's pretty obvious when you test them when they're bad you know you'll know right away so just want to show you that real quick guys yeah so that's it guys another one i'll keep it short and sweet for you um, like I said, there is other ways to do it. Um, you could look it up online. There is a way somehow to do it with a with a meter through the voltage or somehow, but I myself have never done that way, so I don't want to tell anybody anything wrong. I've never done it that way myself. You know, I'm lucky enough I got the setting on the meter, but I said most most meters have a setting on it now so you can test capacitors, and there is a way to do it with the old analog meters. If anyone still has an old Simpson meter kicking around, they were... They were awesome. They had the dial on it. They were like a big black box. Like, they were big, but they were awesome. I used to have it at one of my old companies. My boss um, had a couple, so he let me use one. It was pretty cool, actually. I don't even know if you can get them anymore. If You probably still can. But anyway, thanks again, guys. Thanks again for all the support. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And catch your boys in the next one.